Hi, and welcome to another tutorial of Korg PA Manager. Today, we will time slice a WAV file and create a pad out of it. What is time slicing, you might wonder? It's a feature that lets you play back a loop sample with the ability to increase and decrease the tempo and stay in sync without affecting the pitch. So let's take a look at how this is done. For this, we will need the pad manager. Let's continue with a new set. However, you could also load your existing set to begin with. Find an empty slot, right click, and select the time slice menu. Here we will select and load one of our wave loops. So, let's now go over a few basic settings. The meter is correct. The measure will need to adjust to four and we could rename it here. Okay, so now let's play back and hear the loop. Pretty bad and quite out of sync. Now let's slice this and see how it fixes it. Much better. This is quite a long loop, so I could come here and trim it down to one measure. This would also help save down on file size and slice count. Okay, quite good. But I can hear some imperfections with these slices. They should be aligned as close as possible with the beginning of the peak. We could fix this by lowering the scan range here. That's better. Although we could make it perfect by manually adding our own slices. Let's delete these. Select the slice tool and add the slice point. Now that's perfect. Okay, we will now go over some of the options available. If we had a stereo wave file loaded, this option lets you convert the stereo to a mono. We could normalize the loop to balance out the volume. We have a noise remover option to get rid of those hiss noises. We could add and lower gain levels. Then we have the fade out slice option. This doesn't have a visual representation, but what it does is once you save out the pad, it'll add a slight fade to the end of each slice. This is quite useful and gets rid of some glitches if you have a busy loop sample. The visual spectrum visually lets us see how these bottom parameters are working. So the peak range controls the peak detection. The scan range is the width scanning area of the peak and the minimum distance sets out the minimal distance between each slice point. We can also remove and clear out all existing slices. If you do not like the auto slice mode, you could turn it off from here. Now you have full control and can manually do the slicing yourself. Pretty good job. And finally, we could reset all the changes and revert back to the beginning. Now, let me quickly redo all the steps and show you how to save the slice once you're happy with the result. When we're ready, we click here to save our changes. Let's select an empty sound slot. This can be any of the user slots. And there we are. We have our pad created. Remember to update the type and sync options accordingly. Now we can take a look at what we created. A 
Until next time, goodbye.